sketch list of impressive credits has earned her four Oscar nominations, five Emmy nominations. Her new play, Honor, has earned a seventh Tony nomination. Please welcome Tony Award winner, Jane Alexander. I'm good, thank Lovely you. Lovely to see you. Thank you. Now, nice to have you back on Broadway. Oh, it's nice You're to be You're out of back. that Washington, D.C. NEA <laughs> extravaganza. Yep. Yeah, now you were with the NEA for how long? Four years. That four was years. the length of my term. And uh, it was a good four years, but it was a hard four years. I'm sure it was, especially now with all the cuts and the funding for the arts and That's right. schools yep. and everything. It's yeah, and I watched the NEA go from 175 million approximately to 98.5 million. And this is serving communities all across the United States, so it was really painful. Yeah, now a lot of the controversy came up because of one photographer's exhibit. And a lot of people don't really understand what happened with that, with the National Endowment for the Arts. Tell everyone about that exhibit and well, why it caused such controversy. But... Long before I came to the NEA, back in 1989, 1990, there were two separate exhibits. One included photographs of Robert Maplethorpe, another included a photograph of Andre Serrano's. And they were in very prestigious museums, the Cincinnati Museum of Art, the Philadelphia Museum of Art, the Corcoran Gallery right across from the White House. And these two photographs in particular, there were two separate photographs, caused consternation and real controversy in the country. But the NEA never gave grants specifically to those photographers. They gave them to the museum exhibits that included a lot of photographs. So that's what really got... Uh, and it sort of spun out of control, and people were saying the NEA is funding pornography, and it was yes. totally inaccurate. And by the way, Rosie, they're still doing that. Newt Gingrich the other day said the NEA funds pornography. It's simply not true. No, it is not true. In fact, the NEA funded the Great White Hope, which yeah. you won your first Tony Award for, and had it uh, not been for a grant from the NEA, that never would have made it to Broadway. That's right. That began with a grant to the playwright Howard Sackler to do it at Arena Stage back in 1967. And then it went on to win all the awards, and James Earl Jones and I had, it really made our careers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, art, I think, is so important and so often undervalued, but it is one way out of poverty and desolation and depression. Mm -hmm. It is. If you're a kid, I think, even for me, growing up in maybe a home that was not ideal, it was my way out. It was a, a, a light in maybe a, a gray sea. And I think it's so important it that is. we keep it al alive for children. And not only that, it, everybody should have the opportunity and access to the arts in their own community. And not the private sector is not going to chip in everywhere in America. It's right. just not going to happen way in North Dakota or in the inner city in Detroit. So I agree. And now another Tony nomination. Are you nervous? <laughs> I'm, I'm excited. Uh, I, I have never won for a leading actress, right. although I've been nominated these many times. So I would very much uh, like to, to have that, uh, that honor. The new play is Honor, honor. and it's a, a new playwright, an Australian playwright? Yes. And uh, it's the story of uh, you, a woman who sort of uh, gives up her life for her husband and mm -hmm. sort of wonders if that was the right decision. And then gorgeous young Laura Linney walks into our lives and a 32 year old marriage is turned upside down right and you're yeah. you're nominated as well as the woman who plays your daughter yes enid graham her broadway debut that's right that's exciting isn't yeah. it very exciting it's exactly what happened to me in the great white hope my broadway debut her career's going to take off your grandfather i read in the notes mm -hmm. was friendly and knew buffalo bill <laughs> is this true yeah he was buffalo bill cody's doctor back in north platte nebraska until Cody died in 1917. And uh, yeah, my grandfather was a wonderful Western doctor named Daniel Quigley. He was terrific. Were you, are you the only actor in the family? I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what inspired you as a kid? Who, who moved you to become an actress? Um, I, I think it was just doing a school play, Rosie, at a very early age. Uh, my dad, when he came back from the Second World War, took me to a matinee of a ballet one afternoon. And this was pre-television. And I had never seen anything like it. I was about seven or eight years old. And I dedicated myself right then and there to the performing arts. I mean, the color, the lights, the sound. I never made it as a dancer. I mean, on, on point is excruciating for yeah. anybody who knows about 
ballet shoes. And so at the ripe old age of nine, I gave up dance <laughs> and uh, turned to theater and played Long John Silver in a school play of Treasure Island. And that was, that was it. That was it. What grade was yeah. that? Uh, what, fifth? Fifth grade. Yeah. Second grade, The Wizard of Oz. Jan Brenner got the lead role. I was mortified. <laughs> I had to be Glenda the Good Witch. Luckily, my mother made me a very nice costume. She made me a very big, you know, uh, crown and the, the wand, so I looked a lot better than Jan Brenner, which helped. You know what I mean? <laughs> but it's true. I think that you get, you get the bug when you're young, and it doesn't go away. That's right. Do you remember your first Broadway show you ever saw? Um, I think it was West Side Story. Wow. And then I saw it five times. Of course. Clams on a Half Shell, Bette Midler. For me. Clams on a half show. Can you Wonderful. believe that? Oh. I was in the audience thinking, I want to be her. I didn't want to be like her. I wanted to be like I Dream a Genie. You could go like this and then become someone else. <laughs> That's what I wanted to just jump into her body and be her. All that talent up there. Yeah. Well, I'm so thrilled for you. I can't wait to see the show. I am going to come see it Thank next you. week. And I will see you at the Tony Awards. Thank Hopefully you. Hopefully up there on stage. We're very happy to have you. There you go. Uh, Jane Alexander, the play is honor. Go see it. What's up?